two count, two outs. We'll look for the runner, Day, running on first base. 3-2 pitch to Incavillia. Swung on, fly ball center field. It's a long way. Is it long enough? Ferguson is back by the fence, and it's a home run, folks. Number 24 for Pete Incavillia. Broke his record and the school record there, didn't he? Well, you could sense it, that people wanted him to hit a home run. <laughs> Obviously, the OSU fans did. I'm sure the Sooner fans did not. Brooklyn Dodgers, his brother Tony Incavilla, played professionally with the Pirates and the Padres, and uh, obviously Pete is going to play professionally. Oh, God. God, I think we've got number two. Oh, God. The outfielders don't even move. They kind, of, they kind of looked over there and said it's gone. I mean, number two on the game, that is number 25 on the year, number 47 in a career. Both of those are big eight and Oklahoma State records. Ladies and gentlemen, Pete Incavilla has hit his second home run of the game. He just cannot throw him a fastball out over the plate because when he hits it, there's just no way it's going to stay in the ballpark. Last year, 29 home runs, 103 RBIs. This year, 36 and 110. Come on! Come, Come on! on. Hit deep to left field, and that ball is gone! Another one! Number 37 for Incavenia. He is five away from tying the NCAA single season record held by Jeff Ledbetter of Florida State with 42. And Incavillia's had a perfect day. Two for two with three walks this afternoon and had a two-run homer in the first inning tonight. A lot of left center and he's got power there as well. And what it does, they're saying to Pete, hey Pete, try to hit the ball through that hole at second base. If you try to hit a single, you're doing us a favor. This guy has shown us the last couple of years he can hit the ball all over with great power. Deep to right center field. Back goes Myers. He looks up. It's gone. Another home run for Pete Incavenia. You can put all the shifts on you want. You have to play nine players in back of the fence to stop that one. Number 38 for Pete Incavenia, three more RBIs, gives him 115 on the season, 15 away from the NCAA record. And he knew it was gone. It was an off-speed breaking pitch. He waited on it and went the opposite way with it, and he knew it was gone. Look at him. How many times has Pete Incavenia <laughs> done this here at Stillwater, Oklahoma, and the fans love it? you got to love it if you're a baseball fan, of course, if you're a Cornhusker fan.
I say about this team, we never die, you know, we keep on scoring. The home run, uh, they kept throwing fastballs at me, I don't know, I thought maybe I can't hit the fastball in, uh, you know, I, a lot of people have been doing that, and uh, I saw it right off the bat, he threw me a fastball, hit for a double, he didn't throw me anything, just fastballs. So, uh, you know, I sat fastball, you know, the ball was in my area. I've worked hard all year, you know, uh, I pretty much got my stroke down to a fine art right now, you know, I, I work on it every day. Uh, I hit, I hit until before a game until I feel good. You know, I, I know I got to do the job uh, for us to uh, get the RBIs going. I, I had to do it early, and uh, you know I put the pressure on myself. But that's where I want to be. I want to help these guys win. And you always get fired up for the regional. You know, you always get fired up to go to Omaha. Omaha is uh, you can't even explain it. It's such an experience that I think everybody should enjoy. Uh, you know, people out there are so great to us. And you know, we get fired up. You know, because we all want to go to Omaha. Just stand underneath, just in case. Up. We're being told that this is a passing shower. All five trips to the plate Monday night, NCAA home run king Pete Incavilla saw this scene repeated. He never got a chance to swing the bat as Wichita State dared other Cowboys hitters to beat them. The first to take the challenge was Brian Kostitian, who smashed a three-run homer in the fourth to break open a close game and give the Pokes a 5-1 to one lead. They're walking them all the time, so they're saying to us, the rest of the team got to do the job, and we did tonight. We put up 10... 11 hits up there and we did the job. This is a great team this year and uh, I think we're going to go all the way. We went with Costitian and he got a fastball away and did his thing and uh, it, it was the game breaker from the standpoint of giving us a little bit of room to play the game again. We were able to get aggressive again throughout the lineup and in that inning we only out were hard hit balls and the rest of the night we moved the ball very well. From there, catcher Mike Day hitting in front of Incavilla did the damage, first with a sixth inning solo home run and in the seventh with a run scoring triple. Those blows secured a fifth straight trip to the College World Series for Ward's team, which is dominated by seniors. For them, it's the last chance at the NCAA title. We got a little bond between us, you know. We, we ran around together, we got to know each other, we became good friends, and this is uh, this is really special. I, I mean, it's I think it's, it's more special than, than any of the others, you know, because uh, uh, you know, we are seniors, and this is our last year, and this is the last time we'll be here in LEP, and uh, you know, we went out on a good note here, and we're just we're looking to go out on a good note up in Omaha. When the Cowboys open College World Series play Friday night against Mississippi State, Incavilla will likely get a chance to add to his home run total, but it may not take long for opponents to decide that Wichita State's strategy is the lesser of two evils. Tony Sellers, Sportsline Hunt. He is well documented with his numbers uh, and the level of competition we play as being uh, as good a hitter as you'll see in college baseball. And he's, he, needs, he belongs in another league. Uh, I don't question at all. I've known that for a year and a half. I think he'll be a very high draft, and I think he's an outstanding professional hitting prospect. A stroke's a funny thing, you know. It's uh, it's good one day, it's bad one day, it's good one day. It's, it's hard to keep that even keel stroke, and uh, uh, I guess if you could keep it even keel, anybody could do it. But, uh, you know, every day got to come out and work hard and go back to the basics and take your strokes and uh, think about it and get ready to hit the ball. And, you know, I've, that's what I've learned since I've been here. And right now, I just been doing my job. Job, keep that small hard stroke and uh, you know if it comes it comes and if I get it I get it if I don't I don't but as long as we get back to the World Series and you know win a national championship that's what I'm here for. I, I, I wanted to come out here, I wanted to play my freshman year. I knew it would have been tough, you know, but and I had a good fall. I hit 400, I hit about 10 home runs, you know, and I got in the lineup, I was playing on the left field, left third base, and I started hitting the ball for them, and they finally stuck me in there for a while. You set a big eight record this year. You've got to be awful proud of that. Oh, yeah, you know, I set a goal when I was four, four I started, I hit 400, I hit 20 home runs, and, you know, you know, reach that goal, it was tough for me, you know. I had guys like Scotty Wade behind me and Gary and Rob, you know, always encouraging you, man. You, you can't play with better people than I'm playing with.